And welcome to episode 66 of Nickel O's World Podcast. Welcome, welcome. Today is May 5th, 2016. I know, long time, no see. The last time I recorded was back in September of 2015. I know, shame on me. It, there's a lot of factors of why I didn't podcast. I did in our rap group post updates sporadically, but I basically, I needed to focus on myself. Things just got crazy, my health, everything else just came first. I I know the last episode I talked that I had tennis elbow, I did, um, I couldn't not knit or crochet for the longest, and that got me in a rut, I didn't want to knit or crochet or spin wonk wonk. However, I slowly have gotten back into wanting to do those things again. Yeah. I don't have that many finished objects. In fact, this podcast is going to be a little different since it's been almost a year since I recorded. You guys are going to get a slideshow of what I did for 2015. Um, I'm going to talk about a little bit of 2016 because I don't have any finished objects, but I can show you what I'm working on. I'm sorry. I do. I told her I have one. But I will post a slot. I will post it in the slideshow. Um, let's see what else. Yeah. It's just been crazy from September until now. I've just needed to focus on me and my health. I needed to take a break from everything. If you follow me on any of the social medias, I haven't even been that active lately. I kind of just stepped back, which is a good thing. I needed that. Um, I do start, I am going to get back on a normal recording schedule, and you guys are going to help me with that and help me keep track of it. Um, Sundays are not a good day for me to podcast. Sundays, I'm kind of out about and doing things now that it's getting nice out. Um, I've kind of, it may sound selfish, but i kind of taken the weekend for myself. Sundays is church. Saturdays, I do things like, I've taken Saturday and Sunday for myself. If that sounds selfish, I'm sorry. Um... So, I may be recording the days that I have free. I may be recording on a Monday or a Friday. 
I'm hoping to record on a Monday, but we'll see. It may either be Monday or Friday. Um, let's see what else here. If you guys are looking to find me on social media, you can find me on my fitness pal, Instagram, Rav, and Facebook as Nikki18229, N-I-C-K-I, 18229. Um, my fitness pal, I think I'm under Nikki18229. I'm not sure. Um, if you want to follow me on Fitbit, I'm sorry, Fitbit, I think I said Fitbit before. But if you want to, um, Fitbit, I think I am Nikki18229. I'm not 100% certain. But if you guys want to follow me on Fitbit, um, just send me a message because I believe it's linked to my personal email. And for privacy reasons, I don't want to put it here on the video. So if you want to know, please let me know. I am following quite a bit of you. And if you've been keeping track of me, I have 81.8 pounds to go. I know 81.8 pounds till I'm at my goal weight. I'm so excited. I know some of you out there in viewer land are like, that's still a lot of weight to go, girlfriend. Yes, it is. But you know what? My doctor, excuse me for, like, my nose is running my allergies. That's another subject. Um... My doctor said, you know, 81 pounds is, technically it's not really a lot to go, but yet it is. But yeah, so I got that in mind. Um, Maryland Sheep and Will, am I going? Absolutely, absolutely, you will see me there. If you'd like to meet up with me, um, message me in the comments below. Um, if you have my personal cell phone number, Text me, email me, Facebook me if you're on Facebook. You know, I'd be more than happy to meet up with you guys. Just let me know. I'm sorry, but my nose just keeps running. Um, let's see. Okay, I am looking for a new logo for the podcast and the group. I am not... How can I put it? I suck at drawing, and I want a nice logo. Don't get me wrong, I love the logo I have with the colored sand, because as you guys know me, I love color. I love all that stuff. But I am looking for a new logo. So, I'm open to ideas or suggestions. Um, if you're wanting to do a logo, let me know. You will get full 100% credit. Or if you have an idea for one, please let me know. You will get credit for it. Um, I am not the type of person where I will steal it. You know, you will get credit. I'm sorry about that. I did have to pause it and blow my nose. I really don't want to blow it on camera. Um, as I said, my allergies are just hard. Not last week, but the week before. Just out of the clear blue, I started getting stuffed up, and because of my allergies, came down with bronchitis. So, last week is, I really started to feel better, aside from stuffy, hacky, dripping, running nose, and it feels like I have glitch coming, yeah, everywhere. So, yeah, I know I'm not alone with suffering with allergies, so I can sympathize with you guys that are. No matter where I go, a box of these have been going with me lately. Even in my car. I just can't escape it. I've, i i got to take a box with me. Not just a pack, a box. Because I need it. So, yeah. That's my adventure now. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Podcast. I haven't commented on anybody's because I'm actually like a year behind in my podcast, which I'm catching up. I know a lot of you are like, Nicole, just delete them. Just go with the current. I can't. I just can't. I want to catch up. It's like a favorite show. Um, let's see what else. Credits uh, for my podcast. I'm going to kind of currently do it a little different. Um, I was thinking also of a new theme song. Kind of getting rid of No Matching Socks. However, I just, I love that, that song. Um, let's see what else. I guess before I go into my slideshow, 
I will show you guys what I've been working on. If you want to come to, if you want to, please join our rap group. It is under Nickel O's World Podcast. Please feel free to join. I know it, the group has not been active in like seven months. I'm sorry about that. But, you know, I kind of had to take care of me. If I don't take care of me, then there's no this. Um, yeah. So if you have any ideas or suggestions for the group or any alongs we should do, please let me know. I'll be more than happy because I got, I have a yarn stash like we all do. It's just sitting there and I need to find projects. Um, yeah, but that's about it oh, for books. I have been reading and I even took a break from reading for like ages, but I kind of got back into reading again because I love to read. I'm kind of reading, this is kind of fact, but fiction in a way. Okay, first of all, you have your opinion of this person, you like them or not, that's fine. We all have our likes, but if you guys, I'm reading Glenn Beck's Dreamers and Deceivers. And it is actually pretty interesting. Some of the stuff I knew about, like, um, Edward Armstrong, I didn't even know who he was. This guy right here. I didn't even know who he was until I read this book. You know, I understand that some of it he has to add a little bit of fiction, like, story-wise, like, to make it seem first person, but the facts that are in here are actual research facts. Um, who else did I find that's neat? Um, Charles Ponzi. I learned about the Ponzi scheme which was quite interesting. Grover Cleveland. I knew about stuff about Grover Cleveland. Woodrow Wilson. I did find that interesting, you know, about it. Yes, his wife really did run the White House for a while. Um, I am currently on page 132, and I am reading about Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz which is kind of interesting. It's called He Loved Lucy, the Tragic Genius of Desi Arnaz and the Inventor of the Rerun. Um, I, I, there's things that I've learned, like I didn't know about Desi Arnaz so far. And some things, like, I kind of question about Lucy Ball, but, you know, hey, everybody's entitled to their opinion. You know, I could be wrong on some things, but... I know some people have a controversy with Glenn Beck. You know, you're probably like, why are you reading that book? You know, each to their own. I like it. I try to read a fiction book, a factual art, a factual book, an autobiography book, you know. So this is it. Um, I am on Goodreads. If you want to follow me on Goodreads, I'm under Nikki18229. You will see sometimes I have two or three books going. Like, I may read a book for a while, put it down. Pick up another book. Read it for a while, put it down, and pick up the other one. I'm allowed to. All right. Before I go into the slideshow, and I'm sorry, I know this is going to be a long podcast. I have in my homespun bag, you guys have probably seen these before. I think I showed them seven months ago. I didn't make too much project, progress project. Forgive me. It's like 11.30 at night, and forgive the background. I usually have a better background. But it is what it is. Um... You guys will remember, and it's on my project page, I am doing it, and this is a free pattern on Rav, Hermione's Everyday Socks by Erica Luder, L-U-E-D-E-R. There are these socks right here. Um, you guys know me, I am actually stepping out of my comfort zone with these socks, like the pattern-wise. Because normally I just do straight up vanilla socks, also known as just knit socks. Yeah, so I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. It is a cuff down. And you guys know I'm not a fan of Kitchener. Kitchener and I are not BFFs. And I'm trying to be. I want to be better at Kitchener stitching. So that way I can do cuff down, toe up, you know, whatever way. Um, Heel. I did not do modifications I made was 
the heel because I'm not a fan of heel flap and gusset. It the heel flap and gusset just it doesn't seem to fit me right. So I took out the heel flap and gusset and went with the fish lips kiss. Um here is where I'm at so far. I think the, here right here. You guys will see when you guys saw this last. Right here is where I was when you guys saw it. this line right here where the dicky do is. That was it. That's all I had done. I have this much done now. I have the heel. And I'm working on the foot. Um, as far as needle size, I don't remember what size these are. And I currently can't find my needle gauge like to measure it. I don't know where I put it. I put it someplace so I would not forget where I put it, and I forgot. It's here in the house. I will find it. If not, I can buy a new one. And then I'll find the old one. <laughs> That's always the way it goes, but yeah. You guys can kind of see the patterning going on here. And then the bottom of the foot. I do love the fish lips kiss heel. It works really great. And yes, I do have a small foot, if you want to know. Seven and a half shoe. Um, the yarn I am using is re is Lion Brand. I must keep the wrong name. Lion Brand Sockies. One ball makes a pair. Um, and it is in the colorway Cotton Candy Color Two O Five Lot One Zero One One One. Right here. And I, I love this yarn. I don't know where you can buy it in the store. If you know a craft store where you can buy this, please let me know. So, yeah. I, this is a no pressure to get done. I normally don't like socks this high up. But, obviously, they're for, like, fall, winter, early spring. So, yeah, because I normally, obviously, I don't wear my knit socks in the summer. But, yeah, so this is in a rush to get done. It gets done when it gets done. I normally carry it with me in my purse so that I have something to work on. Um, my needles, they're my eBay China needles. So, nothing special with them. I will try and find out what gauge it is. I think it's a... Uh, like a 1 or something like that, or 1.5, something like that. Because I know I wanted to try a smaller needle so that I wouldn't get a lot of laddering going on because sometimes I tend to ladder with my stitches if I work on circulars. But so far, so good. Somebody gave me the idea to go down a small needle size and see how that works. I tried DPNs, but I lose my DPNs. Don't get me wrong. It is nice to know how to use both. Um, my next thing is I picked it back up after about a year. Excuse me. Oh. I'm sorry. It is a paper pattern. It is by the lovely... Emily Estrada from Fibertown Podcast, and it is her shield maiden. I'm trying to find a good picture of it. Um, you can excuse me, it is in black and white because I was trying to save ink, but you guys can kind of know you can't see. It's actually, it is a paper pattern, so I'm trying not to give the awesome sauce away. I really like it. Um... It is inspired by the TV show The Vikings. I do know that. But here is what the front would look like. And then here is what the back looks like. It is, so far, I do like how I am working on it. It's giving me something new to try. I am currently on I am currently on the knit across the shawl section. 
that's not giving anything away. It's just saying what I'm doing right now. And let me get it here. Do I have... This is in... It's really... It was a bag given at Christmas with some stuff in it. And I kind of took it as a project bag for myself. So... My little notion bag that one of you lovely viewers gifted to me. I do love it. I love notion bags. Um, the yarn I am using is by Lion Brands. And it is called Heartland. And it is in the colorway Grand Canyon 122. And here's the name of it, Heartland. I really like this yarn. It is, if you're wondering, I want to say it is 100% acrylic, but don't get me to lie. Yes, it's 100% acrylic, but for 100% acrylic, it does not feel that way at all. It is soft. And forgive my circs that they're on, like, it's bunched up, but this is how far I am so far. And you guys can kind of see the color good. It is, like, it's like a grayish, it looks... Like, earthy. Since it's called the Shield Maiden, I wanted to go for, like, an earthy, neutral tone, Viking theme, you know, kind of with it. So I chose Grand Canyon. But, yeah. You guys can kind of see this good. And it, it really is, for acrylic, like I said, a soft yarn. I really am impressed with it. And, no, I'm not a yarn snob. I love all kinds of yarn. So, I did give all kinds of yarns a try. Um, the needles, they are boy, or boil, boy needles, 4.5 mils. Um, because I can't find what I do with my other 4.5 mils. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that. Nothing too exciting. Um... I was hoping to have this done for Marilyn Sheep and Wool to take with me, but that's not going to happen. Um, let's see what else. My sweaters, my, if, if you kind of haven't, well, you haven't, but my sweaters that I have knit, I now have to rip out because they are humongously too big on me. You could fit two people or more in the sweater, so I am going to frog them out. And I'm actually going to re-knit them in a smaller size because I like the patterns. And, yeah, I'm just going to re-knit them in a smaller size. That's all. That's kind of the fun part about knitting and losing weight is you, if you want, you don't have to, but you can rip, you can frog the project out and re-knit it in a smaller size. Or if you have a friend or a family member that's totally knit-worthy and you know they would take good care of it and, I mean, totally knit-worthy, you could gift it to them. But being that I like the color and the patterns, I want to re-knit it. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, nothing to review, product review or book review, because we're already 15 minutes into this, so... I'm going to let you guys go so that you can see the video clip. Feel free to comment below. Um, I got a hair in my mouth. Sorry. Um, yeah, if you're going to Maryland Sheep and Wool, you would like to meet up with me and see me in IRL. Please let me know. We can arrange to meet. I don't know what time I'm going to be there. I know that I will be there for quite a while. So just let me know. Until then, I will see you guys again.